हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टूडे आई एल बी टेकिंग अप अ वेरी वेरी इन डिमांड क्वेश्चन विच इज हाउ टू मैनेज अ नाइन प्लस सी जी पी ए इन बिट्स पिलानी आई वुड लाइक टू गेट इट आउट ऑफ द वे दैट दिस इज माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज समथिंग दैट वर्क फॉर मी एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू फिगर आउट इफ इट वर्क फॉर यू एंड दिस दिस पोस्ट दिस वीडियो शुड आंसर the question that i also get asked very often is uh, which is that how hard is it to get cs as a dual degree or any other like triple e as a dual degree and some things like that so let's get right into it uh, i'll be using my quora blog post uh, for reference you can also refer it uh, after watching this video so uh, what people generally ask me is that how hard is it to get a 9 plus cgpa and hard is sort of a subjective issue like what is hard for me may not be hard for somebody else so i'll just focus on what i did and how hard it is uh, you be the judge so as we have already seen in the how grading works video uh, the grading in bits is relative so in short we can summarize it as um, if a course is 300 if a course total is 300 and the whole batch the complete average is around 180 then if you are at least 60 marks above the average then you will get an a grade so average plus 60 gets you an a and suppose average plus 40 gets you an a minus and average plus 20 gets you a b and so on so for details refer to the how grading works video so now Uh, coming to the evaluative components uh, they are generally of three types uh, one would be like uh, weekly regular quizzes quizzes are nothing but just tests then would be your mid semester exams which we call mid sems and then finally the end semester exams or the comprehensive exams which we refer to as compres so now as we saw that ultimately it all boils down to rising up as far above from the average as uh, possible so uh, there are certain people who are confident in their abilities that they'll be able to manage an average plus 50 or average plus 60 that is the a grade range uh, in just uh, by just performing very well in the end semester exams and some actually do succeed in that but uh, i personally was never of that type so i had to work regularly and i had to use all the evaluative components that were made available to me um, uh, in a sort of uh, smart way to get to the 9 plus mark so uh, to elaborate on that in bits uh, as you might be knowing there is a concept of 0% attendance that is it's not necessary for you to attend the classes to be able uh, to be eligible to appear in the exams but the, this means that the teachers would resort to some ideas of their own uh, to uh, encourage participation and attendance in class so that is generally achieved by using surprise tests and also regular tests so these are like among all courses you will have around four tests a week now the weightage of these is very less so it's around 7 marks 8 marks or maximum 20 marks generally doesn't go higher than that and that is why people take them lightly they feel like okay i'm getting a 2 on 7 on this test so it does not matter i'm just losing 5 marks but when you think about it over the term of the whole course then if there are eight such tests which is a very normal number then you might be losing out on 40 marks uh, and this 40 marks um, if you think about it it can change your uh, total from average plus 20 to average plus 60 which is like something from a b to an a so that is uh, that is the difference between a cg 10 and a cg 8 so uh, that's a huge deficit actually so for the test you should actually prepare for around 1 or 2 hours one day before the test this will actually help you score small in small small chunks and help you get a nicer larger total at the end of the course and the tests are really really silly and um, the level is generally not that high and sometimes the questions 
that are discussed in the class are straight up put in the test in these regular tests so if you are uh, sincere about your regular studies you will definitely score well in these tests now coming to the mid semester exams in mid semester exams there are like around 90 to 110 marks i'm assuming the same 300 marks course total because that is fairly typical of all courses in bits so now people in mid sems also they falsely think that okay that we can manage in the compres the compres will be of the highest weightage and it is generally seen that they can't so for mid sems at least one week before your exam start just uh, start studying for them uh, mid sems are generally uh, scheduled on consecutive days so you won't have time between the exams themselves so at the last moment you will only have uh, revision time so just uh, for start a week before and uh, you might have to study for around a week and around a week before and during the mid sems at your je levels but just understand that throughout your uh, throughout your semester you will be uh, relying on your je stamina for around 2 3 weeks at max and the rest of the days will be pretty chill you will have a lot of time uh, to devote to your extra curriculars uh, to your entertainment and things like that so finally coming to your end semester exams these are again of uh, up to 135 marks and uh, everyone will study for these mostly everyone will study for these so you have to start at least around one and a half to two weeks before this will be again useful because even in the end sems you don't get a lot of holidays sometimes sometimes you might get three or four but in general mostly one or at max two so again like you have a whole semester worth of syllabus to cover and everything will be a part of the compre that you have studied throughout the semester so that is a lot of course to revise um, at the last moment so just start at least one or two weeks before and then uh, use your je stamina to uh, last you through these one or two weeks and also during the uh, period of the exams so again this is a very small amount of time a very small part of the entire semester that you have to work really hard at the je level otherwise just regular studies before tests like if you have a test tomorrow study tonight for like 2 3 hours and you should be sorted so now if you see if you keep performing slightly well in all the components so you have an average plus 20 in your tests you have an average plus 20 in your mid sems you have an average plus 20 in your end sems then you have you kind of have an average plus 60 overall and this would get you your a grade and a grade would translate to a 10 cg so some some courses you might get uh, a some have a minus b and so on and Uh, when you combine everything, if you follow this general approach, uh, you should end up somewhere above the nine mark. And uh, you can tune it to you can tune the material of this post if you want to estimate that what would get you an eight point five or what would get you a ten. Uh, so uh, what I have mentioned is around nine nine point five between nine and nine point five. So if you are hoping for a ten, then you have to be even more thorough in your prep and maybe start. uh for 3 weeks before your end sems and so on and uh, uh, this should help you uh, decide and understand what it takes uh, to be uh, to be a 9 pointer or a 10 pointer or whatever and i would again like to put this disclaimer that this was my experience my personal experience this is what helped me in uh, achieving that uh, 9 plus mark and uh, I hope that it helps you too. So all the best. See you soon.